Today I have the pleasure of speaking with Don from Avalon Advanced Materials. How are you today, Don? Great, thanks. Good to see you again. Well, the last time we spoke, we're just following up, you've just put out your announcement on the completed PEA for the Separation Rapids Lithium Project. Talk to us about your results, Don. Obviously, we're pretty pleased with the uh, results and the market uh, uh, reaction to it. Um, and it's an important milestone for uh, the project there. Ironically, we're sort of going back to the original thesis we had for that project 20 years ago, which was to focus on producing a lithium mineral product for applications in specialty glass and ceramic products. And we're seeing that as a, a logical thing for us to do now, at least to get started in the business. And we see it as kind of phase one, get into production at a relatively modest scale and build scalability into it to allow us to add in um, a lithium battery material product at a later date as a future scale up of the uh, operation. Well, and, and Don, uh, you have an offtake agreement already with Lapidica. You want to talk about that and where you're going to take it next, how you plan on doing this, say, in the next couple of quarters? Yeah, because of uh, Lapidico's interest in uh, la the Lapidolite product at Separation Rapids, which is uh, a relatively minor byproduct, and the fact that they were building a process plant in Ontario, it makes sense for us to recover that as a byproduct from the um, separation wrap or and serve their uh, their needs as well, and their initial needs fit with the amount of product we uh, look. It looks like we can deliver at this early stage in the development, so it's a good fit for us. But the primary focus will be on the uh, on the pedalite for the for the glass industry. Uh, that's the main mineral in the resource. And as the PEA shows, uh, we can do that at a relatively modest capital expenditure um, compared to what it's costing to bring new lithium battery material supply to the market. And um, that's an attractive feature at 70 to $80 million in capital to get started. And given how lithium has been repriced, it allows for uh, very attractive um, returns on investment there in the, uh, with IRRs above 20%. I think I read, you know, you, you mentioned 70 to 80 mi million. Your news release, uh, I think, indicated 77 million, but then the, uh, the revenue looks quite good. Do you want to talk, speak to us about that and what we're looking for as shareholders? Well, that's based on the, the model we have there now. It's, uh, we think you have to anticipate how much product you think you can sell in the marketplace. We've got lots of expressions of interest out there, some from some large players, some from some smaller players. So we think the scale where we've uh, uh, conceived this ad is reasonable given the demand in the marketplace. And so that's what governs the, the size of the operation uh, at the stage. And uh, of course, Thanks to all the battery demand for lithium, lithium has been repriced to, uh, from what it used to be to uh, make a more attractive um, return on investment. But we also see that once you get going in a business like this, you can always look at possibilities for growing your business over time as demand increases in the product. It's a matter of getting started at a reasonable scale, get your product introduced into the market, get it accepted, and then... Um, uh, see where it goes from there. And of course, in addition to Separation Rapids, you have two other projects. And speaking of demand, with the latest U.S. Defense Act, are you receiving a lot of inquiries about Nechilacho in the Northwest Territories and uh, rare earths? Oh yeah, still on our radar screen uh, for sure, the interest in uh, our rare earths. And uh, we are keeping an our eye on that, waiting for the right opportunity to uh, renew activities there and be ready to go when uh, the opportunity comes along. But our focus is on uh, Separation Rapids Lithium and our East Kempville uh, tin projects right now that are very close to being able to move into this next phase of, of development towards construction and production. And of course, uh, you may be receiving some inquiries. I read recently that you're also now the co-CEO of Resignata. Do you want to comment on that for the Avalon shareholders? Sure. 
Well, I do want to assure all of our shareholders I haven't gone anywhere. I'm still maintaining all the duties and responsibilities that I have for Avalon. I guess I'll be working even more nights and weekends than I do already to handle the additional work. But uh, Zenyatta is a fascinating story as well, a very unique graphite resource. And we're seeing lots of opportunities to serve this emerging uh, market for graphene because of the new um, uh, markets that are developing there and the quality of the resource there. It was going through a transition period. I've been uh, semi-involved in that company for a long time and, and uh, thought I could be helpful to get through this transition by lending my help as co-CEO on an interim basis until we get the company kind of back on track again. Well, that'll obviously be a win-win for everyone involved because of your relationships in the battery material sectors. So, uh, Don, then with the separation rapid steel, what should we as shareholders anticipate in the next couple of quarters? I think you talked about taking the pilot program to the next level. With this confirmation on the viability of the project, the next step for us is to uh, firm up the um, the critical offtakes we need to justify the um, capital investment to move forward with, with the next phase of work. And uh, we've got that interest now. And then before we can um, go ahead with construction, there's some feasibility level work still be, to be done. We want to do another bulk sample, finalize our process flow sheet to feasibility level um, uh, standards. And then um, from there, generate more product for samples for the market and then be in a position then to finalize the business case to go um, forward with uh, production. Of course, in parallel with that, we'll complete our environmental assessment work and the, and the necessary permits, um, get all those in place and um, work out agreements with our First Nation partners. Well, Don, thank you so much for joining us today and thank you for the update. Thank you, Tracy.